Hello, and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with immigration attorney Brian D. Lerner. As probably most of you have heard, uh, Trump uh, rescinded DACA. So, you know, I have some other videos on this subject, but uh, there's been some movement as to what exactly can and will be done, at least for the next six months, depending on your current uh, DACA situation. Uh, and I have to give the advisory that whatever I'm saying now might change in an hour, might change a week, might change in a month. Um, unfortunately, with Trump, there is no guarantee that how things are today will be the same tomorrow. But at least we can, uh, at least we can decide uh, what to do based upon the current situation. And as it changes, I will let you know. I'll just put up another video. So in this particular case, uh, there are uh, a few different categories that the particular DACA recipient or application or person falls under. And depending on those categories will depend on what you can and can't do. So first, I want to refer to what I call category A. Now, category A is if you have worked on the DACA application, you've put it all together and you're ready to mail it off, but you have not actually sent it off. Um, that means that it's over for you. There's no DACA. Okay, for sure. Um, they will not accept any new applications uh, and you will not be able to send it off. So in that particular case, you have to be aware, as with some of the other categories here, there are other options. Uh, you can certainly send me a message or, or call my office so I could you know, give you a consultation to let you know what the options are. But one right off the bat could be prosecutorial discretion. Uh, this essentially is a packet showing all the hardship you'll suffer. U.S. citizen relatives, you know, uh, good moral character, you know, everything that would necessarily make immigration decide to essentially allow you to stay here, even though it's not under DACA, uh, but giving you permission for a certain period of time to stay here. So that would be category A. Now, category B, now pay attention here. Category B is where you have already received an approval of DACA. And it expires on or before March 5th, 2018. So let me say it again. You've already received an approval of DACA and it expires on or before March 5th, 2018. Now, if that's you, then you can file an extension of your DACA and you can get an extension for two years. Now, what's the catch? You must file the extension before October 5th, 2017. If you file it October 6th, 2017, or if you file it when it expires before March 5th, 2018, it's over and it will expire when it expires. So if you do this right, you have an opportunity, if you're under category B, to get a two-year extension under DACA. Okay, so very important. Uh, if I look at my watch here, it's September 11th right now. You have about two and a half weeks to get that extension in and it, it must be done correctly it must be done timely you're not going to have any second chances to get two more years okay and that's a pretty good deal so uh, make sure you do that now category c is if you have daca but it doesn't expire until after march 5th 2018 if that is the case and it expires after march 5th 2018 then you cannot file an extension and it will expire when it expires. Okay, so that would be for category C. Now, category D is if you have not received DACA, have not received the approval, but you have the application pending. It was filed on or before September 5th, 2017. So if it was filed on or before that day, but you haven't heard yet, sorry, there's a fly, but you haven't heard yet, then you will be able to still get DACA, assuming it was all done correctly and approvable, uh, and they will still adjudicate it. Okay, so that would be category D. Now, category E is if you have DACA and 
you have advanced parole. Both of them have been approved. Advanced parole is when you leave the country and then you come back uh, legally under the advanced parole. They will still allow you to do that. However, there is a big caveat. Um, as I'm saying, you know, tomorrow they could end all of this. A month they could end all this. So theoretically, you could leave the country validly under DACA, validly with the advanced parole. And then when you're gone, they might snap their fingers and DACA might disappear. And if that does happen, you're not going to be allowed to come back under the advanced parole. So there are some risks with you doing that now. Okay, so that's let's see, A, B, C, D, E, F. Category F will be similar to category E, where you already have DACA and you have applied for advanced parole, but it has not been approved. Uh, they will no longer process or approve advanced paroles for DACA. So don't worry about that. That's not going to happen. Now, keep in mind, as I've stated, that DACA could end any time, but there are certain deadlines that you need to meet here, uh, depending what category you fall under. So if you do have questions and you uh, need a consultation on this, let me know. Also, don't despair if your DACA is disappearing because there might be other ways of helping you um, because immigration law has a ton of different categories and so forth that one may qualify under. And while Trump can essentially snap his fingers and end DACA, he cannot end immigration and nationality law uh, and all the statutes and regulations and cases and provisions and visas and so forth. So those all still exist. Um, and you may qualify for one of them depending on your situation. Okay, more in the coming videos.